Hi, I'm going to show you how to calculate a moving average and plot a moving average using pandas. So the first thing we want to do is import our dependencies, which is pandas. So we're going to import pandas, saving on the, the variable PD. Then I want to bring in my data set and save it under DF. And I'm going to use the read CSV function from pandas. CSV. Uh, we're looking at a CSV called advertising. And then let's take a look at the head of that data frame. So we can see that we have a date column, an index, and then we have these three channels, and then we have a sales column. So let's plot this. But before we do that, I want to set my index instead of having this default index I want the date to be my index so there's a couple ways to do that we can definitely just say save resave our variable and say set index set index function and then we can say date and that and then we can take a look at the head of that and we can now see that our index is saved as the date column but another way to do that which I think is far superior is when we read in our data we can specify using parameters so we can say index call underscore call equals date and then we can also tell it to parse that column that date column as dates by using parse dates equals true and you should see that we'll get the same result if we run this there. So I'm going to eliminate this because it's redundant. Let's take a look at one of these columns. I'm going to use a sales column. So I'm going to isolate the sales column using bracket notation. And then I want to plot that. And the very simple way to do that is just dot plot. And now we have the default visualization is aligned. And it's going to use the index. So we have our index set as our date column. So now we should see time series graph. And we can see here we have all those points. And of course we can make this bigger by just changing the figure size by saying fig size and then equal. And then I'm going to set the x axis to inches, which is uh, let's say 10 and then 6, 10 by 6. And let's take a look at what that looks like. So we can see there's quite a lot of variability here around 2019. That's, I would say there's probably something going on with the data. So for this purposes, I'm going to show you how to isolate that out. And we can do that very simply. Let's call our next variable DF, hmm, how about 2018 data. Let's just look at all the data for 2018 and we can do that by creating a variable taking our data frame and using the loc method to say okay I want this to start at 2000 2018 dash 0 1 0 1 and I want my end point to be 2018-12-31. And I'm using the same format as in our column up here. So then let's see what that looks like. So we can do the same df 2018 and let's isolate sales and then let's plot that to see what we're looking at now uh, it's still terrible so let, let's let's say it starts let's say it starts on the I tell you what instead of this I'm gonna do 2015 T 
to 2018. So now we change our start date to 15. And we change our end date. Let's see. Zero one. Zero one. And then let's make sure we change this also. All right. Now let's see what we have. I'm going to increase the fig size. Let's say 12 and 8. So, okay, now we can take a moving average for this. There's still a lot of points here, but it's a little clearer. We can make it a little bit bigger. Maybe if we use, instead of 12, we go up and change that to 15. Now we can start seeing something. So let's give that a moving average. So how do we create a moving average? We take our variable. So I'm going to copy that. So all we're doing is saying I want my 2018 and 2015 data. I want to isolate the sales column. Then I want rolling is the function. And then we give it a window. Now, this window is based on the number of rows that you want to put in your average. So this is where it gets a little confusing because we don't know if those rows are actual individual days. So you have to think, it about, think about this as a number of rows. So if we say, okay, let's do a seven row average. We want seven rows. And then what's the aggregation we want? We want mean, which is an average. All right. And then we let's plot that and just see what it looks like. So here's our rolling average. And then we can change that. Say if we change it to 30, 30 rows, it's going to look like that. Now, if you wanted to see both of these together, all you would do is take our original view, our original plot, and let's just, we can do it here. We can take this and we copy it and we do dot plot. So it, both graphs are going to be on the same axis because it's run in the same window. So if we run that, Now you can see that moving average. Let me make it a bit bigger. I'm going to copy this and drop it in to save a couple seconds of time. So now you can see that moving average going through our data. Add another column to our data frame. So if I'm using this data, let's take a look at the head. So we see we don't have a moving average of sales. Now here's our data frame. We want to add another column to that data frame. So I'm just going to copy that. And then I want to be able to say, OK, let's name it moving average. That is our new column name. And I'm going to take the same steps that I did before. Dot rolling. Oops. We want to, what do we want to focus that on is sales using this bracket dot rolling. We set our window equals 7. And how do we want that aggregated? At the mean. And then let's take a look at our data frame using the head function.
No. So you can see at these first at these first five points we can't see anything because this is what head is. So if we start, let's see the first thirty rows of our data. Then we run this, and now we can start seeing our average. I hope that helps. Thank you.